A 19-year-old Mason Wells was at the Boston Marathon to cheer on his mother. He witnessed the chaos unfolding when two bombs were detonated near the finish line. Then two years later, he was in France doing missionary work when a series of terror attacks killed 130 people in Paris, the city where he had been working just days before. But last year, Mason's luck ran out, if you want to call it that. He was at the Brussels airport when two suicide bombers blew up that terminal, and he barely made it out alive. Mason spoke with us on Fox & Friends from his hospital bed just days after the attack. Listen. Everything that I've lived up until this point has, has fortified my, my personal faith that God is there. I know that I felt his love several times, and I know that if I can feel his love sitting on a, a sidewalk next to a destroyed airport, that God, he'll, he'll talk to his other children, too. And I, I know that he does listen to the prayers and that the prayers that the people are doing right now, they make a difference because I felt them. And it's been a more than a year since that interview. Mason Wells is here with us today to share more about how his faith has carried him through these tragedies. He writes about it in his new book called Left Standing. Mason, thanks so much for being with us. Your book's called Left mm -hmm. Standing. Obviously, you have been uh, through so much and all these critical moments of your life. If, if For viewers to know, what's the most important aspect of your book that you would want viewers to know about? Mm -hmm. Well, a big thing that I hope people take out of this is that hope is the antidote to adversity. Um, we all like, face challenges in life. We all face adversity, hard financial times, uh, illness, losing a loved one. And it's during those times that I hope people realize that their choices will, will affect what they become. We always have kind of two roads in front of us to embrace. One is this road of bitterness, and I think the other is a road of hope. And I, I hope that the book encourages people to embrace hope. And Mason, you've chosen not just a road of hope, but a road of action. Uh, mm -hmm. Folks should know that you are a freshman at the U.S. Naval Academy, so mm -hmm. you've decided to commit your career, at least in the interim, to the, our United States government and the United States Navy. Mm -hmm. What was it about these three? Was that something you were planning to do anyway? Did these three attacks motivate you to serve? Yeah, well, I always had the aspiration to attend the Naval Academy ever since I was young. I, I wouldn't say these attacks changed my reasons for wanting to join, but it definitely definitely made me more aware of good and evil in this world. Mm. There's a definite good, there's a definite evil. The people that commit these horrible acts that kill innocent people, they're evil, and we need to stand up to that. And obviously, um, I'm joining the military, so that kind of says what, what I think <laughs> about it, but uh, on an individual basis, I think just by being decent people, by being good people, um, by taking the time to be patient with people that are different from us, I think that goes a long way to making this world a better place. And Mason, you talk about how your faith really helps shape you and guide you through these tough moments in your life uh, and also the healing process. And part of that, you actually penned a letter um, to the terrorists. And in part, you said, despite my harsh feelings about your acts, I have forgiven both of you. I've chosen not to allow hate to overtake my heart for either of you. I hope that one day we can meet so that you can know that good has indeed come in the wake of your evil acts. Can you just tell our viewers about what motivated that forgiveness? I assume faith was a large part of that. Mm -hmm. uh, was it difficult to, to forgive? It was something that happened, I would say, fairly quickly. Uh, but getting past, I think, some of that anxiety, getting past my frustrations in the recovery process, that's something that's taken a lot longer. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, my faith has always, you know, reassured me that God has a plan for me and that he has a plan for every single one of his children. And, and that definitely went a long way in, in helping me get to where I am now. So in a personal sense, you've chosen to forgive, which mm -hmm. is a part of moving past and getting past. But you've also joined the military committed to mm -hmm. killing these guys uh, where they are or wherever they live. So you're, you can have both forgiveness for an individual act, but also a clear sense, as you mm -hmm. said, of good and evil, that there is justice to be had for these yeah. type of acts. And, you know, I didn't join the military to kill people. I, I think, you know, well, the military is a force defend, in the world. Sure. Yeah, to defend it if I have to. I, I won't hesitate to defend my country. Um, just because I forgave these people doesn't mean it makes what they did permissible. And I think that's something we have to realize is we can get past this bitterness and we can mm -hmm. get past the anger involved in this, uh, but we can also stand up to it at the same time. It's not one or the other. I think the two go hand in hand. Absolutely. Uh, what, how, what did it, when did you get the idea to write a book about this? And where does a, uh, not a kid, I shouldn't call you a kid, mm -hmm. where does a guy of your age who's going to the Naval Academy find the time to write a book? 
Well, and uh, I assume that was an emotional process as well. Sure, right? it, it was. Oh, it, and you know, in a way, it was almost therapeutic, right? Being able to take everything that I've been thinking over the past 18 months and put it down on paper. Uh, it wasn't a decision I took lightly. I didn't want to do this when uh, I was first injured. It was, you know, some of my co-authors like Tyler Bettos and Billy Hallowell that convinced me that the story could help people. And mm -hmm. I figured if it could help people, that I had a responsibility to share that. The book is called Left Standing. Mason, when do you have to be back at the Naval Academy? In about two days. <laughs> Standing in formation, <laughs> right? Yes. At yes. six in the morning. Yes. That's right. When you're a freshman at the Naval Academy, life is not easy. So we appreciate you And there's the, the cover here. there. Yeah, thank you so much, Mason. We're so glad to see you healthy mm -hmm. uh, and doing some great things in life. Well, the left.